drive, fire away. Is it good to have a quick turnaround after a, a tough game like Saturday? Well, I, you know, it was good to have a day off yesterday. Um, we've gone at it pretty hard over the break. Guys got back to classes today, which is, you know, good, I think, to get back in that routine. And, uh, you know, you turn around and play one of the most prestigious programs in the country on Wednesday night at home. Uh, that's what this league's all about, so you have to get ready. That's what I was going to ask you. It is what this, that's what they bring to the league. It's kind of some national prestige, and good for both programs, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's great for the league. You know, that's what the ACC is all about. Uh, there are no uh, uh, easy games. There's no, uh, you know, get well games or anything like that. And that's why it's really important during this 18-game stretch that you have a short memory. You know, if you win a game, you got to feel good about it. And the next morning you get up, you got to get ready for the next one. And uh, I think our guys understand that. We have uh, enough guys that have been through it. Uh, and so now you, you got to go back out and you got to play just a little bit better. And you got to make some improvements today in practice. And so what speaking do you do? of Syracuse, they got out to a fast start against Virginia Tech. They hung on to beat them. So what can you guys do to kind of slow them down and keep them from scoring in the second half, especially with their, sec their uh, second chance points? Well, they're, they're a tremendous offensive rebounding team. Uh, and so you have to do a really good job on the glass. We're a pretty good rebounding team. Uh, so it, it's something that you know we emphasize. We're going to have to do a great job of. They're explosive offensively uh, with Cooney guy that can shoot it from just about anywhere. Um, maybe as soon as he gets off the plane on, on Tuesday night, that's the kind of range he has. And the guy who's made unbelievable improvements is, is Christmas, their center. Uh, and he's the main guy on the offensive glass, but he really has stepped up his game. You know, it, people have talked about the improvements you make between freshman and sophomore year. He's made it between his junior and senior year, which you don't see quite, you know, quite often. And that's a testimony to him and obviously the coaching of, of Coach Bain. Is another one. I think he's kind of underrated. He started against us last year in that game. Uh, I think he's an exceptional player. So they have length, athletic ability around the basket, um, and because of their ability to knock down the threes with either one or two guys, um, you can get stretched defensively. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one battle inside, and you got to do a great job with your physicality. Some of the situations guys are put in, but he's dramatically improved on the defensive end. There's no question about that. And he's been playing well, so we need him to continue doing that. Is there anything in particular that you want to just see how you guys respond to Syracuse and how they play, or, or, or whether it's, you know, well, I'm not, yeah, I'm not so sure it's how you respond to, to, to Syracuse. It's how you respond, you know, are we able to put a, a difficult loss behind us? Uh -huh. Because you're, you're gonna, in this league, you're going to have them, you know, and so you have to bounce back. You have to put it, you know, as I said, in your rearview mirror and keep moving forward. And that's, for me, that's what I'm going to be interested mm -hmm. to see in the, in the response. Now, you're doing it against, as I said, one of the elite programs in the country, so it makes it a little more difficult. Um, but the effort and energy level, um, the, the discipline that we play with in terms of our offense and defensive execution, we need to continue that and not just keep it at that same level. You know, over these 18 games, you have 18 different tests, and we passed a lot of that test on Saturday, but we didn't get the grade we wanted to at the end. You know, so now the next step is to get the grade too. One thing your post players have to consider is that Christmas gets to the line a lot. They're going to have to be. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you know, if, if you don't defend your post early, um, he puts you in a difficult situation because he's one of the few guys that's strong enough and long enough to play on top of you. And we haven't faced that. The, the closest one is probably Jones from, uh, from Vanderbilt. Um, but Christmas is a much more imposing physical player uh, and so you, you you have to do a great job and you're gonna he's gonna draw some fouls because that's what you know that's what he does he does a great job of that um, and you just got to make them count if you if they get him